leaving the breakwater. Yep. We are headed northeast. Up the river. Up the river. To, to the... find the freshwater fishes. <laughs> from our marina and we are headed up the river to the delta. We're gonna hopefully be up there for almost two weeks and just go explore, relax. We're really excited to just not do anything for a little bit. Our first stop for the day, Potato Sloop. Should be about 12 hours. We watched the sunrise as we snuggled with our newest addition to the crew. Fathom the Boat Cat. Making coffee with a kitty. Are we going to get a kitty right now? Damn right. If oh my god. take them all already. I'm excited but also kind of nervous. Yeah, my heart's racing. <laughs> well, you got we'll me a see. cat! You got me a cat! We have to think of a good pirate kitty name. I know. Haven't thought of one yet. We had wanted a furry crew member for quite a while, and we were stoked to take her up the Delta to get her sea legs. Man, look at all that water moving through this bridge entrance here over by Red Rock. Got 11 knots of breeze, true wind speed. Tide's going out until um, I think 8:30, and then it's gonna come in all day long. But as we go up river, it's gonna keep on coming in. So right, so we'll be like we'll be like in the following middle of it. it. Yeah. Okay. okay, now we're going under the Richmond Bridge, up river, bridge number one. Hell yeah. We got up early. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Had a 5 a.m. departure. We've almost on the dot. We've been working our ass off these past few months to make this happen. And we're finally headed to the Delta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a sleeping kitty. It's almost as if she was meant for boat life. It's her first time in the cockpit and first time motoring for this long and she just laid down and started sleeping. Totally fine. I put a little blanket over her so she's cozy and she seems to be totally okay with it. The wind finally filled in enough for us to raise the sails, giving Fathom her first sailing experience. You're about to sail for the first time, Fathom. How does it feel? not super windy but we're not in a rush because we're trying to let the tide catch up with us so that it's pushing us up the river not the other way. You did great! We just raced the gym and you were fine. A little bit of loud noises, not too bad, huh? She is a total boat cat, aren't She's you? You're going to be fine. You're going to be riding gales with us in no time. <laughs> Fathom's first sailing lesson. <laughs> this is a winch. This Fathom. is a winch. This is a winch handle. She seemed unfazed by the movement and noises of sailing as we made our way up to San Pablo Bay. What you doing, crazy? What you doing? She was more worried about her shadow than the boat moving or sailing or anything. Must attack Shadow. Man, we have dumped some investment into all this running rigging. I know. 
it's funny when we first bought it. I like it, how you don't want to call it money. money. You just want to say it's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> when you show up to the counter with like three pieces of wine and they're like seven hundred and something dollars. <laughs> Fathom, we're going under our second bridge. Wake up. Sleepy kitty. Heart's racing. Uh oh. Why? Because this bridge looks really low, but it says 70 foot clearance. I feel like last time we went through here, we felt the same exact feeling. We were like, oh my god, are we gonna hit the bridge? And then we made it through. So. With like 10 foot to spare, that's. Will we make it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bridge number three, Venetia Martinez Bridge and the what? Venetia Martinez Bridge and Union Pacific Railroad crossing. Bridge. Awesome. Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Longest name ever. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. That's more than our mass height. We're not that big of a race boat, come on. Princess Noodle over here. <laughs> I'm starting to worry there's something wrong with her. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yes. Cute. Yes. We live to see another day. Oh Is it exciting or what? You actually got up from your nap, so it must be kind of exciting. As we passed under each bridge, we felt the stresses of real life melting away, letting us get into the swing of Delta life. I'm hanging out up on the bow, just enjoying the sunlight, calm, beautiful day as we are passing Venetia. Delta for a week and a half of fun. I'm so excited. I'm trying to slow down and stop thinking about work or other things and just hang out and relax and really enjoy our time off. All right, here we go under the Antioch Bridge. Bridge number four. So we are on the San Joaquin River, headed upstream towards Antioch. Uh, you might be able to see the masts behind me right over here. We just got boarded by pol a police boat. Um, we didn't really see it on the Navionics chart, but apparently there's a restricted like naval weaponry area. Um, and we must have taken a shortcut that wasn't actually a shortcut. It was a restricted police enforced area. So uh, we had to take the sails down. We got boarded. Uh, you know, they checked all of our documentation, checked our IDs, did a bunch of typing on their computers on the boat, and then, um, you know, gave us a little heads up saying, you know, this is just a written warning, but next time if you come through here, you'll probably get a ticket. So, oops, now we know. We will definitely show you guys where that spot is on a chart so you know if you're in the Delta area. It only took about an hour off of our trip time, but still it was a little bit nerve wracking just because it's always nerve wracking to get boarded. And, but luckily everything checked out fine and we were good to go after they, you know, did their whole checkeroo. So we are back on track. Couldn't have had a more perfect day. So beautiful out. We are just about to pass the entrance to False River, which goes that way. And apparently it gets a little shallow and sketchy beyond that um, up in Frank's track. Before we knew it, we were setting our bow and stern hook at Potato Slough Anchorage, ready to soak up that delta heat. Okay, Sonia is setting the stern anchor. One, two, three. Ah! Ah, that was really scary. It's 
actually really high up. What was the squawk for? <laughs> I don't know. I got scared. All right. So this is our first night up in the Delta. We are at Potato Slough Anchorage. It's really nice here this evening. And we've got Fathom out in the cockpit. She's doing really well with boat life, so that's exciting. And Jack just went on a little dinghy adventure to go zoom around some of these nice little inlets around here. We got here and we immediately jumped in the water because it was so nice out. Seems like the wind is picking up a little bit right now, so we'll see what tonight is like here and we'll decide tomorrow if we want to stay longer or if we want to go find a different spot. But for now, Kitty is exploring, Jack is exploring, and we're gonna have some delicious bratwurst for dinner, so can't complain. First morning in Potato Slough Anchorage. It's early, but the cat woke us up, and it's a beautiful morning, so why not get up and go check our crawdad traps? Crawdad. Shit, only two. Two? Oh, oh wow. Three. Look at that guy. It's a pretty big claw. All right. Never a dull life living on a boat. We just went on a little morning excursion to go check the crawdad traps and we got back to the boat and it smelled like electrical burning, which is never a good sign. So obviously we started opening up all of our electrical compartments and we found that our water pump has burnt up. We don't see a ton of water in the bilge. We don't see any like burst hoses. It's just the actual pump is super hot. So before we've even had coffee or breakfast, we're pulling the boat apart to try and figure out what's going on and how we're gonna fix it. Lucky for us, our favorite marine chandlery delivers to one of the boatyards in the Delta. So we got on the horn and they promised to send us a replacement water pump by the next morning. In the meantime, we decided to pick up our anchor and find a more secluded spot just around the bend. We headed to Three River Reach, where we tied our bow to a tree on land and set our stern hook in the river. We had found the perfect spot and we had it all to ourselves. The next morning, we hopped in the dinghy to go pick up our water pump. Phew. Like any cruising adventure, we are off in search of boat parts. <laughs> our water pump could have burnt our boat down, but luckily we caught it in time. And so now we have a pump that was sent to us by Svensson's and we're picking it up at Delta Bay Boat Works. So we've dinghied over here since there's some shallow spots and we didn't want to move the boat. We're all set up. so. We're gonna see if we can find our parts and fill up on some gasoline and we'll be back to the boat swimming in no time. Yeah, it should be around the back side of this. Dry dock. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. It's just like travel lift way back here. Wow. That is so crazy. It felt like we were stepping back in time as we walked into this old school boatyard. Hello? Hey there. Can we go through here to get to the office? Yeah. Is it through here? Yeah, right through there. Awesome. Appreciate it. Hello. I'm all turned around here. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. We just parked at the, at the dock there with our dinghy. We're here to pick up parts. I'm Jack. I'm back in the office here. I'm not <laughs> we were just kind of following the walkway. Awesome. awesome. I appreciate it. Water pump. Yeah. Of course it went out while we we're anchored out. <laughs> oh, lovely. Some yeah. Stuff down. Very lovely. Very lovely. Yeah. We have a friend who's coming to, to meet up with us on the water. Mm -hmm. Do you know of where would be a good spot for her to park? It's just she like one park night. Park right over. out here. Yeah. So she can park over here. In oh, this great. Area. Great. 
fit up here. Awesome, cool. Just fine. Okay. And Danny, don't bring your big boat up here though. No. You'll get stuck. No. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna install some parts now. <laughs> yeah. So we can get it back up and running. So we can wash some dishes again. <laughs> I know, right? Exciting Fun. stuff. Yeah. How many boat bucks do we have to spend for those? A lot. Alright, back in the dinghy. Do you think big small with running water working again we could get back to fishing and relaxing <laughs> that's so awesome do it again <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll tow you home thank you i don't want you to work too hard we are headed to pick up my friend nikki who is coming to meet us for the day. So we're gonna go pick her up in the dinghy and bring her back to this beautiful oasis we've found here in the Delta. It's called Three River Reach Anchorage. Kind of near Mandeville Tip Anchorage, if you know that one. All right, we are waiting for Nikki to show up here close by, so we're gonna have some food at this little riverboat cafe or something. So, we'll see how it is. Here's our dinghy. The Delta is scattered with gems like this little restaurant. After lunch, Nikki greeted us from shore with an ice cream treat. So beautiful. Oh. Even Fathom is enjoying it up on deck. Oh wait, she's just playing with this. We spent the day swimming and fishing. We were blessed with the most stunning sunset. Swallows flying in patterns above us and pink clouds painted through the sky. Complaints. Beautiful sunset. Food on the grill. Amazing. Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> the next day, I left Jack and Fathom to hold down the fort as I headed back to shore with Nikki, saying goodbye to one friend and picking up our next guest, Jocelyn. We have learned heaps from Jocelyn when it comes to fishing, so naturally we spent most of the day fishing around the area catching plenty of food for lunch and dinner. Literally just <laughs> threw our lines out. <laughs> Scored. There you go. All right, bye, guy. Adios, little one. <laughs> Hell yeah. <Nice. laughs> that was great. That okay. Fun. Jack's coming over with the bucket and the net Yay. and his boards. We can just keep catching. That Jeez, big. that guy was big. Huge. What do you think? Look at that big cat fish. It's a cat and a fish all in one. Huh. This is too good. It's so cute. Once the fridge was packed with fish, we dabbled in some other Delta appropriate activities with Jocelyn and her friend Kevin. <laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Crawfish 101. <laughs> this is a Delta crawfish and what you want to do in general is grab it by the carapace and the tail. Break it open, mm -hmm. and then you have the tail right there. It's commonly thought that you should suck the head, so I'm gonna suck the head right. There really Insert wasn't much going on there. Yep. Insert sucking sound. <laughs> you can kind of get to the claw later on, but really, like the main event here is the tail. Yeah. So just break it. Oop. Get juices over you because yeah. you're gonna go swimming later anyway. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, just break off the shell. Pull the little thingy. Kind of like Voila. a shrimp. Voila. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Before we knew it, it was time to take our friend back to land. 
We couldn't pass on her offer for a quick walk to a friend's farm down the road to feed our full compost bin to some very hungry piggies. Happy piggies. Happy piggies. Yeah, seriously. Okay, the time has come to pick up our spot here and head up to the Georgiana Slough. Go explore a little more. Catch us next time as we head further up the river through Georgiana Slough. We make a quick visit to the historic town of Locke and make our way down the Sacramento River, hailing countless bridges on our way back home. It's a blustery, blustery morning heading back home. As you can see, it's really nasty outside. A huge thanks to our Patreon crew who keep the wind in our sails. Until next time.